Hello friends, welcome back to another product demo with me, AVB. Today we're going to be diving into the latest piece of infrastructure on the Near Protocol. That is the Center Wallet, a browser-based wallet. As the Near ecosystem continues to grow rapidly, it is very exciting to see more and more components being developed by the community. First, we're going to have a really quick overview of the current state of the wallets on Near. Then we're going to dive deep into the center wallet features and overview of how the application looks and feels. Then we're going to do a step-by-step -step on how to install it. This is very simple, but I guess you can have fun with me and follow along. And then finally, we're going to log into Ref Finance with the center wallet. Now, th this is an interesting video to make because it's interesting when you see new products coming along when there is already something that you really like. And I have to be honest, I am a big fan of the near native wallet. I think the user experience is super smooth, super clean, very easy to use. You've got your balances, your NFTs, you're able to stake, you're able to see your account information. I think that Near, with a very strong focus on user experience from day one, has created a wallet experience which is above and beyond anything out there. However, if you look at the top right corner of my browser, you will see the MetaMask wallet the Phantom Wallet from Solana, which has been getting a lot of praise recently. And these leads a lot of people that join the near ecosystem to ask whether there is a similar experience. Once there are established user patterns, such as having a browser-based wallet, they're harder to break. So I like that the Sender Wallet introduces an experience that looks and feels just like they were used to doing before, but on near native. Sender Wallet is actually the second browser-based wallet on the near ecosystem. The first one was NAR Wallets. NAR Wallets was developed by the Metapool team. And if you go to the Metapool website, you can actually log in with the NAR Wallets Chrome extension now. I am not too familiar of how many other applications currently support NAR Wallets. I know that the focus for the team has been liquid staking. Now, going over to the latest kit in the block, Sender Wallet. Sender Wallet enables you to create a wallet have instant swaps you can also stake directly from the ap application you can have your nft collections it is most importantly non-custodial not your keys not your crypto they also have strong privacy protection and 24 7 support this is what the wallet looks like we've got the balances account activity i created this wallet just before recording the video the swap functionality is really cool a fun fact, I am pretty sure that for the swap functionality, it uses the Ref Finance liquidity pools. I sit on the Ref Finance community board and I know for a fact that we've been working very closely with the center team and that there is a lot of potential. Just to give you an idea of the use case for having swap directly embedded in your wallet, say you're playing a game or you're doing anything anywhere on the near ecosystem, you would use your browser-based wallet to be able to sign transactions directly without having to leave the page that you're on. And say that the game requires you to have a specific coin or you claim some profits or whatever the case may be. I think it is really good to be able to swap directly within your wallet without having to go to the exchange. It is likely that over time, the sender wallet may have its own liquidity or maybe integrate liquidity from other decentralized exchanges. But at the moment, it is certainly looking very good for Ref to be embedded within a browser-based wallet. Moving along, they also enable you to stake directly on the wallet. And we've got account features such as setting your base currency, language, automatically has the you know, testnet network, and most important of all, back up your account the Sender Wallet is currently available on any Google Chrome enabled browser. So that's Google Chrome, Brave, Opera, and I don't know what the rabbit is, but that one. I'm personally using Brave at the moment. Click install extension. It will take you to the Google Chrome store. Always check that it is the right person. Check the reviews. Click download. Once you've downloaded, you click on the little puzzle piece and click the pin so that it is so that it is permanently included up here. If you unpin it, it will disappear. So make sure that you pin it. That's how you find it. And then when you go to the sender wallet, it will prompt you to create a password and it will ask you whether you want to create a new account or import an existing account. 
for this demo, I created a new account. It gives you the private key straight away. My only observation here is that when you create a new account with a sender wallet, it automatically gives you the default long string of names. And at the moment, I can't quite figure out how to uh, customize it. So once you've logged in, it still gives you the ability to import an account. So if it weren't extremely risky and stupid to import my account and reveal my seed phrase uh, for this demo, I would do. So all you have to do is enter the 12 words recovery phrase from your other account. Alternatively, if you create a new one, it gives you a default one and you still have to fund it. I like that it also gives you the option to delete accounts that have not been funded. So I'll delete this one. As you can see, it is extremely easy to download and to use for the swap functionality. It seems like it only allows me to choose from currencies that I have. Let me do a quick test. So I just transferred some ref and some meta tokens to test the swap functionality. It seems like it's not fully functional yet. I initially thought that it was only showing you coins that you had available on your wallet, but it is still only showing me near. I, I would recommend joining their socials. I'll put up the links to the Twitter and the Telegram and the Discord on the notes below. And hilariously enough, I also sent an NFT to this wallet. I, I, I just sent a misfit and I just realized that I can't find where to see the NFTs. So I'm guessing that functionality is also not available just yet. And uh, I'm hoping that my misfit is safe somewhere in the metaverse. So now to wrap everything off, we're going to go to Ref Finance. We've logged out. When you click connect to Near, you will see a new exciting option. So there is the Near Web Wallet, which is a standard, and there is the new Sender Wallet extension. It is on beta mode. So as we just saw, it's got some limited functionalities. Team is working and shipping every day. And kudos to the Ref team. I like how it has an install now button for people that do not have it yet. This is an excellent call to action and the beginning of a journey. We've already installed this, so we just choose here. It is requesting access to connect, approve. And just like that, we are in. When we go to view account, we can see our balances. And let's just do a really quick swap just to see the experience of approving a transaction. <laughs> I don't actually want to sell any ref, but I'll sell one just for the swap purposes. We can see approval on the side. Allow swap successful. It's actually a pretty good experience. I can see myself getting used to this. So my understanding is that the technical documentation is all available and that integrating the sender wallet is not very hard. The ref is as usual, leading the market being the first, and I would expect more teams to follow suit. So we'll see the sender wallet available at more and more places. As you can see, the sender wallet has also been integrated onto Paras now. So I'll just try logging in and see if I can find my misfit. Go to my profile. Yes, my misfit has arrived. It is well and truly safe. I can sleep at night now. Fantastic. So that's it for today. Let me know what you think about the sender wallet, uh, what you think about browser-based wallets in general. If you download it, let me know what your experience is and where you would like to see the sender wallet integrated. As always, like, follow, subscribe, click the bell button, do whatever it is. We will be posting a lot more content in the next few weeks. See ya.